दिस इज डॉक्टर उमेश कुमार आर्य फैकल्टी ऑफ मीडिया स्टडीज गुरु जम्भेश्वर यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी फ्रेंड्स दिस इज द इंट्रोडक्शन टू द एस पी एस एस पार्ट टू एंड इन द पार्ट वन वी लर्न द बेसिक डेटा हैंडलिंग इन एस पी एस एस नाउ इन दिस प्रजेंटेशन वी वुड फोकस ऑन द स्टाइल ऑफ फीडिंग द डेटा सो we would first click all programs and open spss 7.5 this is a very basic version these days uh, uh, version 16.0 is also available but the basic uh, interface is the same okay so as you can see the user friendliness of uh, spss is very much similar to the excel uh one thing we must remember that as we open the file this is a data file we have to enter something in it and then spss would be able to save it it won't be able to save uh if you don't write anything in this so it is always advis advisable to write something in it first and then save it okay so as far as uh, media research is concerned uh, we do three types of uh, two types of media research the first is the content analysis and second one is the survey research so in content analysis we analyze the content or the matter of the messages in the media for example we want to find out we want to analyze the advertisements like content analysis of analysis of newspaper advertisements now this is our uh, research topic of the content analysis so we have prepared this code book and uh, these are our variables like we have taken three newspapers and we have given them the code like times of india is being given the code number 1 ht is second and uh, the hindu is the having the third number of code then the next variable is categories variables are those elements which are required to be analyzed in the content analysis research categories is the second variable and it has got these many responses consumer products one code hospital second vacancy third finance and insurance fourth automobiles fifth color is yes or no either it is colored or it is black and white so again first and second answers page 1 1 2 1 2 2 2 3 2 3 size in square centimeters this we have left uh, blank as we won't be categorizing it as uh, the space of the advertisement can take any value and ad type is either it is displayed or it is classified so every every response has been given a code so this is our code book now uh, how to enter the data in the spss now we would open spss and see our first variable was the newspaper so we would double click this and we would like write it newspaper and label value label it is newspapers first was for times of india add second was for ht hindustan times and third was for the hindu please remember to fill this variable name very carefully adds this variable is going to be the part of your table like whatever you write here would be the would be forming the part of your table in the final analysis so continue okay now this variable is ready this column pertains to one variable this is another variable so we have set this data file as per our newspaper variable 
now come to second variable second variable was the categories categories and labels categories of ads first was consumer products second one was for hospitals and third one was vacancy the fourth one is hospitals uh, sorry it is the fourth one finance and insurance it is finance insurance add like we are going to set each column as per the code book like we have make adjustment in this column that whenever I write one in this column then the newspaper should understand it as Times of India if I write two in this column then the newspaper should understand it the HT Hindustan Times because we have in, uh, in given the value of 2 is equal to Hindustan Times in this variable so the value of 1 2 3 would be different for every column and every column constitutes one variable so like we can uh, this way we can go on filling our variables like this as per the code sheet and then we would be filling our final data in this for example I take one newspaper and in one newspaper I come across an advertisement on the front page then I would take that advertisement and start filling the data the first row pertains to one advertisement like I would enter if it is in the time symphonia then I would enter one categories suppose it is it belongs to the insurance category then I would press 4 finance and insurance and like I will fill up other variables and go on filling the particulars of the advertisement so that whole buy data of that advertisement is covered in this row and these are these columns these are the variables against which we are going to analyze our advertisements so it is a very simple way of uh, filling uh, the data now we come to the survey research in survey research uh, you know the survey is the method of methodology of research in which we go to the people go to the respondents and ask their responses on some particular questions so we have to prepare a questionnaire for that one variable or one column pertains to one question second column pertains to second question third variable pertains to third question this one row it pertains to one complete questionnaire the second row pertains to second questionnaire like for example I am going to fill the first questionnaire then I would take this row this is first and I would fill the answer of first questionnaire here then second questionnaire here then third then fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth so on and so forth and accordingly I will have to make adjustment for my questionnaire as well for example the first question is the 
gender I will double click this then I will make setting of this data file label label is gender first we have given it to male second is female add continue ok now our first variable or the first question is ready then we would click the second one like education education first choice we have given to postgraduate second we have given to graduate third we have given to 10 plus 2 or 12th and the fourth one is below 12th so our question is this that uh, what is the educational level of the target audience and we have given postgraduate as first code graduate second twelfth third and below twelfth fourth and we would like this way we would fill up all the variables and the questions so first question is one variable second question is second variable third question third variable fourth fifth sixth and so on and so forth and this one row pertains to one questionnaire second one pertains to second questionnaire third one pertains to third questionnaire so this would go on and we would be filling our entire questionnaires so friends this was a, a brief uh, introduction to the process of feeding the data in the SPSS like uh, we have to be very careful in feeding the data because if you want to apply some particular statistical tests then the data has to be filled in some particular order it is our responsibility to f feed the data in a in a special manner in which the SPSS would be able to analyze that data for you otherwise if we go on filling the data as per our whims and fancies then SPSS won't be able to help you in that case so we have to be little careful about this thanks for watching